Welcome to Chivalry. This is a game that I purchased recently. So let's get medieval on your arses. Indeed. This is a multiplayer game only. And I'm going to show you uh, one of my favorite modes. That would be... The, the actual game type is free for all, but uh, there are specific dual servers. Uh, free for all basically means that it's everyone against ev everyone else, but uh, dueling means that you typically uh, have one opponent at a time. And uh, that's pretty interesting. It's much more enjoyable than I originally, originally thought. Hmm. That's not a good game. Normally you don't like PvP. Nope. Normally I don't, but here I do. It's awesome. Ooh, I didn't know they have long weapons. Yeah, of course. They have plenty of pole arms and stuff. And now I'm interested. Yeah. Yep. Onward, brothers, to glory! Okay. okay, let's see. Ah, there's a lonely guy. <laughs> Standing in the corner. And uh, apparently it's custom to use this taunt as a uh, declaration. But apparently that guy is AFK or something. Uh, you usually use that to uh, challenge someone. And uh, they respond in kind if they take your challenge. So that uh, there's actually a nice fair duel going on. Okay, let's see. Well done against Moo999. What a valiant name. Oh. Yes, got him. And of course. Uh, I always like to be polite, so good fight. Yeah. To me, that still stands for girlfriend. Yeah, or a good F something else. Him. <laughs> and uh, th this is also customary that uh, when you're re um, regenerating, you crouch. Don't you see? I'm regenerating. But I don't think he didn't even wait for me for my uh, response. That guy is really eager. Well, Early. he's French. Uh, so? Well, we all know about the French, don't we? Oh, uh, yes. What about the French Canadian? I don't think the two of us should taunt French Canadians. We want to live there in a short while. Uh, but not in the French part, that's for sure. <laughs> and you think there are no I... spies all over the country? Uh, yes. They want another French Revolution, but this time on Canadian ground? <laughs> or what? <laughs> what do I know? Oh, that was a very poor attack. For me? <laughs> you have to be very careful here and... Uh, have to be really good at judging distances and the timing and decide when you want to block and attack and all that because you can only uh, maintain the block for like two seconds or something so that is really important oh yeah that was nice Yeah, okay, that can be pretty handy too. It seems a bit weird if you have that one weapon, though. I guess I only have to in. Yes, one more hit. Nice. That was a good one. And uh, the different attacks. The, the controls are pretty unusual. You actually, um, the horizontal swing is on the left button. <laughs> They're really eager to <laughs> jump into it. Seems so. Um, 
So the left button is this horizontal swing and uh, you actually execute the, the other attacks with the mouse wheel. You scroll up to do a thrust and down to do this overhand swing, not this one, but uh, this one by scrolling down. So that's pretty interesting. And uh, the they all have their different advantages and disadvantages. The uh, horizontal swing is easiest to hit with because you cover the most area and you can also hit multiple people with that. The uh, overhead swing does the most damage and the thrust has the most reach. So you have to choose carefully what to do, what to use when. And then you can also, what I just did, do a feint. If you press Q while swinging, you actually stop. And so you can get them in some cases to... Yeah, this didn't work there. But in some cases you can make them block and uh, and stop your attack and then attack again while they recover from the block. So that's pretty handy. But you have to time it really well. If, uh, for instance, you're too late and um, the your opponent has already started his attack, obviously the feint won't do anything but leave you uh, defenseless. So timing is everything. Timing and judging distance. If you uh, misjudge the distance, it's pretty easy for your opponent to strike while you recover from the swing. So it's uh, it's mostly realistic. And I say mostly because it's not perfect. They had actually had to make some uh, gameplay balance decisions. Uh, that affect the, the realism. Like if you notice the swing, the horizontal swing is relatively uh, slow. In, in fact, most attacks are rather slow. Yes, nice. Um, at least I think so. But it is definitely necessary because otherwise you would have a lot of trouble trying to react in time. You have to see it coming to some extent. And uh, the different weapons also handle a lot differently. Uh, the, the pole arms and uh, the hammers and the like are pretty slow, but they have pack a hell of a punch. And they're pretty good against armor too. Uh, this time I'm gonna go with the knight. That's called a knight now? Yep. That looked more like a viking. <laughs> Well, I don't know. They, uh, the two different teams have uh, sort of different looking classes, but uh, they are the same classes for both teams. Both the Agatha Knights and the Mason Order, whatever that is supposed to be. It's um, it's not a historical setting. So Which you can clearly see in this axe. Yeah, the, this double-headed axe, it's... Apparently they were in use very rarely, historically, but uh, it's not really all that common. Although in, in the medieval times they might have been a bit more common, I'm not sure. I don't know, I think I've seen exactly this axe in a deco version, so... Mm. Yeah. Huh. That guy's pretty good at blocking, apparently. Schizophrenia. <laughs> and uh, with the blocking you also have to be careful, because the blocking does have sort of a cooldown or recovery moment, which uh, can be a huge problem if you, uh, if you block too early. Let's try the thing here. Ah, no. Just keep me there. Huh? Oh. 
That's another thing um, about the thrust, as you might have noticed, she just missed me barely. It's very close, but the problem is with the swing you have to be very precise, since you, you're just basically just uh, aiming at a point, whereas the swings obviously uh, can hit something on the way. Yes, nice. Okay. Oh, you have taken the lead. You just killed one person. Well, well, in the beginning. But it's kind of rare for me to see that, that I've taken the lead because I still sort of suck at this game. <laughs> and I think we got a I sweet, mean, hey. Yeah. Let's okay, now I'm ready. Let's see. This is one of those games where you have a white uh, variety of skill levels, let's put it like that. It's uh, very difficult to master. All the tactics and the controls obviously also need some getting used to. Hey, who was that? That is not nice. Actually, I have to look who that was. Is that an archer somewhere? Well, there, oh, yeah. There was an archer. There was an archer. Apparently. And uh, this is also Who's the archer? Something... I think you're not the only person not liking yeah. him. That is clearly against the etiquette. So, therefore, we both... As you can notice, we both uh, stopped the duel to uh, check out who that was. Because that is just... That's just not what you do. That's impolite. <laughs> You just don't shoot arrows at dueling knights. You oh. just don't do that. That that is rude. <laughs> Not even at the knees. Ah uh, no. That's it. No, no uh, shooting arrows. No throwing knives. No spitting. Uh, stop like that. You know. <laughs> um. It, it sort of um, varies how much people adhere to these uh, unwritten laws, if you will. Uh, in some games, they, they really are, um, uh, so to speak, professional about it. <laughs> they are uh, polite and uh, they respect these uh, dual rules. But then you also have uh, servers in which just most people ignore that it's supposed to be dual server and they just go for free for all free for all and uh attack everyone which is kind of annoying and as you can see there you can actually vote to kick a player which uh, usually happens when someone is uh not following the rules which uh yeah these rules are obviously uh, player made and uh, not official so at first when you get into one of these games you might be kind of confused as to what is going on oh that was a lucky shot <laughs> nice one yes you can actually dismember people here okay i'm just going to crouch down to signal that i'm regenerating now we can go for the glory of agatha just didn't really want to open that message window. Can also do taunts and stuff like that and laugh like a wacko. <laughs> Why is it that if you laugh in those things, it's always like a wacko? I don't know. Oh, yeah, that was a nice thing. Yeah, he hit me with, he hit me with arrow. Okay. Just make it easier. He arrowed you. He arrowed you, yes. Again, let's see if I can get him this time. Yep. Always trying to sneak in the hit in between <coughs> the enemy's hits. And uh, whether whether or not 
it's a good idea to start with the first swing. That is debatable because uh, you open yourself up for retaliation if you don't hit like this. But uh, sometimes you can get him, you can catch him off guard or maybe they don't get the timing right and they don't block it. So sometimes it can be worth it, especially uh, if you have more health left than, than your enemy. It might definitely be, be uh, worthwhile just uh, stabbing at them or something. But, but usually I, I actually like prefer to wait until they attack because the retaliation typically works pretty well as you can see. What is interesting is that um, a horizontal slash to the neck can actually result in instant decapitation. That is disgusting. Yes, I think so too. <laughs> These uh, inside out views when the fight is over, that's kind of gross, gross. <laughs> indeed. So, yeah, as I don't know if. Uh, if you get the idea in the video, but it is definitely very enjoyable. Uh, this is just the dual part of it. I'm definitely going to show you some more uh, footage in later videos. And uh, one thing that is really nice is that the developers have given explicit permission on the website. Uh, you, when you contact them, there is actually uh, one option to select uh, for, for contacting them which is named uh, YouTube permission and uh, you don't even have to send them an email because they they uh, write right there that uh, they really like you to uh, upload videos on YouTube so you have some permission even uh, if they're monetized so that is very nice that they actually uh, say that themselves on the uh, website that's very convenient. Those of you are getting hammered. Yes, it's hammer time! <laughs> Two pounds in one oh, 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 oh! That was close. Yeah, thrusting with a hammer doesn't seem all that meaningful, but uh, it does do damage and uh, it has the. Oh, that was close. It has the usual advantage of thrust, namely. Oh, this is. Long hammer time. <laughs> hmm, interesting. And uh, you can also uh, do combos, which I don't normally do because um, in most cases hits are being blocked, so can't really continue the strike. Oh, that was risky, but missed anyway. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's pretty good on his feet, actually. Pretty quick. Yes! Finally, I got a hit in. <laughs> Yay! I got a complete noob. Yay! <laughs> Whoa! Did, did, to prove? did you see how close that was? And that's what I really like. You have those moments in which, you know, a hit just misses the opponent by a few centimeters. <laughs> That is kind of nice. And uh, this is... I think this is the longest duel that I've had so far. Uh, okay. And yes, they can actually lose their helmet. I I don't know if that has any effect, if uh, future hits to the head are more effective. Maybe. But I don't know for sure. Nice. <laughs> that was a pretty cool duel. And that's exactly what I like about this game. And, and the duels in particular. They are very dynamic, strategic, and uh, they involve a lot of skill. And it's just very satisfying. Especially since uh, the hits connect with a lot of authority. It's, uh, you kind of feel it a little bit. Even though, obviously, there's no... Uh, actual feedback in the mouse and keyboard. I think the video is long enough. Yeah, you're right. I can go on and on about this, but uh, 
this is for later videos so yeah for now thanks for watching